What's up guys, Daryl from Smart Shooters. And today, talking about the Walther PDP F-Series. Let's go. For those of you who follow the channel, you guys have long asked me to do a review of the PDP F series. Um, I did the review. I had to shoot it on an indoor range that day because of weather. And the problem was the audio was trash. Here I am, definitely a sweet gun, well worth it. This slide reduction you definitely can notice the difference, especially because I used to EDC a PDP. We'll jump into what comes in the box. It's just a back strap. Two 15 round magazines, which are the same magazines for the Walther PDP. Uh, if you get the compact version. Got my little Walther tools here to install my optic. Trigger lock, a full color manual, and then this sexy thing. The PDP F series. Definitely a super sweet gun. Um, this is the three and a half inch version, which is nice for concealed carry. For those of us who like to conceal carry bigger guns, I conceal carry a Glock 19. I also for a year carried the PDP Compact, the original uh, four inch version. This is three and a half. That's super sweet. Um, side by side with something else I consider carrying the CR920. As you can tell, barrel sticks out just a little bit. It is a little thicker. this let's talk about it um so i definitely definitely enjoy the style the styling of this gun is super sweet i love the pdp super terrain serrations i love that it's coming optics ready although you gotta register it on walther and then order your optic plate i still think that's stupid but hey that's all right i'm not a gun manufacturer in that capacity so if it makes sense, it makes sense. You got your three dot sight system. Definitely enjoy that. You still got a rail under here so you can attach your lights if that's your thing. Um, here's the thing and the F in the F series, I'm assuming does stand for female. Um, I'm assuming that because that's been their whole marketing kick. However, uh, most guys that I know Love this. In my FFL, I've sold a lot of these. Um, let's talk about some things that make this a great gun. Shooter ass shot. Low and to the left. Now let's see. I think I might've dropped one shot. Could be wrong, let's see. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, yup, I dropped one shot. I knew I felt it, uh, but that grouping ain't bad. Uh, I keyhole twice, so let's get it back out there, shoot some more. So the first thing I think that makes it a great gun is they shorten the distance between the back of the gun and the trigger, which makes it easier to reach for people with small hands. Um, I don't truly, as big as my hand is, receive the benefit of it but it is nice that you can reach that a lot easier than with the original pdp i do like the similar texturing it's a little different 
from the original, but uh, not by much. The ambidextrous slide release is super nice. My shooting experience with it, I personally thought it was a little snappy. Um, if I'm a thousand percent honest, I do think that it's a little snappy, um, snappier than what I would have expected. Uh, the CR920 is a much flatter shooting gun. My Glock 48 is a much flatter shooting gun, um, which is odd because I would have thought that because this has extra weight on it, uh, that this would be a lot more flat shooting, but it's pretty snappy. I did drop low. I had one outlier. It's, it's snappier than I would like. Whatever the case may be, I'll roll some footage of me shooting it on the indoor range because that audio is fine. Is it worth it? Yeah, I definitely think it's worth it. Um, it depends on what you need the gun for. I'm actually about to do a video discussing why I'm downgrading my training, not just shooting at the range, but my training to just one gun, which is my Glock 19 Gen 5. Um, and the reason I do it is because that's what I shoot the best. So I challenge you guys to get out there, figure out what you shoot the best. Rent this from your local range. If this is what you shoot the best, definitely should check it out. Um, I may have more thoughts on it. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take one of these out for um, spend 300 rounds with it and just see what I think. But for today, I just wanted to let you know, it definitely is a great gun. I'm sorry for the delay. My audio got trashed, but it's the way it goes. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you guys think it is. I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.